Once upon a time, replacing iPhone batteries used to be simple and easy, until Apple decided to why? 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 Replacing an iPhone battery on the iPhone XS and up means that you won't be able to read battery health and you'll be greeted by this annoying message. Another one of Apple's attempts at forcing you to go to them or an Apple authorized repair shop. Luckily, there's a way around it. Apple began authenticating batteries when the iPhone XS came out, meaning any battery replacement, Apple or not, will cause this message to pop up. The only way to remove this message is to transfer over the battery's BMS board. This board holds the authentication data, tricking the phone into thinking it's the original battery. But transferring it over is easier said than done. Thanks, Apple. We're going to be using this purple iPhone 11 as our test subject. We're going to remove the battery and try and transfer the BMS board to another battery. We'll hit it with an unscrew and open it up. The first thing we need to do is remove the battery by pulling on what I like to call the forbidden cheese. Don't ask. Now that we have the battery removed, we have to remove the BMS board's tape. And that is our BMS board. The goal is to remove it without damaging it. We'll just snip it off with some scissors. Now that we have the board removed, we have to find a way to get it on a new battery. These batteries are especially made for this transplant. They don't have the BMS board and have the anode and cathode extended so that the transfer is as easy as can be. To attach the BMS board to our new battery, we have to use a spot welder. The spot welder will ensure a solid connection. I've never really spot welded before, so go easy on me. We'll have to line up the anode and the cathode to the BMS board and begin spot welding. It took me a while to actually get this attached because I have no clue what I'm doing, but I did. Now we'll reapply, now we'll reapply the protective tape to make sure none of that metal is exposed. The battery is looking good. It's time to test this out and see if it actually works. And it booted on to my surprise. I really did not think my spot welding job was good enough. It wasn't good enough. I had to spot weld it again, and I ended up damaging one of the pads. We're gonna do it with this tennis instead. We'll do the same exact process, cutting off the battery's BMS board. Only this time, we're gonna be using key on the spot welder. The other one wasn't any good. We'll use the spot welder twice on each side, making sure the BMS board is fully attached. We're good to go, it's time to reapply the tape and see if this thing works. We need to plug in the charger to activate the battery. We have the Apple logo and the phone did boot. We're greeted with an important battery message but when we clicked on it, it showed the battery capacity. Kinda strange. So it did work, but the battery capacity is still showing the old battery capacity. We have to reprogram the battery. We'll be using Kian Lee's Apollo 1 to erase the battery health data. Now we can reinstall the battery. And uh, I think the phone's a little confused. After restarting the phone, the battery health is now at 100%. That means it worked. Was this easy? Not really. Do I plan on doing this for every battery replacement? Absolutely not. But it's really good to know that this is possible. The only thing this really does is restore battery health function and it removes that annoying message. Is it worth it? Well, it's up to you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, let's get that crunch.